Um, I the reason why I really love this whole ornament thing is because it complements what you just did. You made this really cute garland. It was recycled, of course, because you're eco Heidi. And I am going to be using some actually all recycled materials in my project as well. I kind of call it vintage just because it has sparkle and well, I don't know. I love sparkles, and sure, why not? It's a little vintage in there. Okay, so maybe Tiffany can throw the uh, photo up while we rock on over to Craft Cam. And da na 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 Craft Cam! <laughs> All right, so those are kind of uh, the, the picture of them. And the materials that you're going to need are a soda can. This is actually not a soda. You all know, or most of you know, that I am a, totally addicted to FRS Healthy Energy drinks. The nutrition facts aren't on here, but they're completely awesome. Um, I also get a lot of questions about how to cut up cans without hurting yourself. I do recommend wearing a pair of gloves with the initial cut. Uh, you can use some sort of kitchen type of scissors. I actually just use my dollar store type scissors because I don't really care. I just make it happen. Um, but once you get, do get it cut open, just cut some straight lines and get all your, your little snags out of there. And then what you do is you cut just a square out. This is kind of the way that I do it because you need to do the, the center circle. And I just do that by cutting myself a nice little square nice and flat. I don't freak out about having a perfect circle and I just cut a circle through. Don't be intimidated by tin cans and soda cans and stuff like that. You can do it. I promise you, you can definitely do it. For this one, I'm going to just use one, one circle, but you can sandwich two circles together and then that way on either side of the ornament you'll have this pretty kind of silver shimmery color, but I actually think that my can is so pretty and I love this drink so much that I'm going to leave this side open and exposed. And you see that I just kind of cut out a two and a half by two and a half circle. It's not perfect. Perfection isn't what we're trying to achieve. We're just trying to have fun and craft and upcycle. So uh, that that's going to look really cute just right in the middle of there. But before I uh, start adhering things and sparkling things, I want to just quickly kind of put some nice lines right into my my little tin can here, my little soda can here. And all you need is, is, is kind of a spongy surface. I'm using a thick foam. If you don't have any sort of foam products around, you can use a book or you know, a phone book. We all know that we get phone books and we never use them, so they're good for something, I swear. <laughs> and all I do is I just start putting lines just pressing with a ballpoint pen some lines in there. And you can do whatever designs you want. This is completely up to you, but I like to do these lines. And then I flip it over, and I just kind of give it small lines, kind of little knots, right along the outside. And that just sort of counteracts the curling that I had just done with my other lines. So kind of embossing and de-embossing and doing all kinds of bossing around. <laughs> all right. So then you have kind of this disco crazy fun look. And I don't know, maybe 60s Christmas look. And um, if you don't have any other sort of uh, embellishments that you want to put on here, then you can go right into sparkling and doing all kinds of crazy things. But what I'm going to do before I go into that is add some Adirondack alcohol ink by Tim Holtz, because we love him. We love him. And um, I just do that by applying a little bit to my sponge. People do it differently. And then applying, just dabbing it on to my project. And it's just going to be this really pretty green color. Ooh, I love that color. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. And I'm actually just going to keep it this, this one color. You can start mixing colors in like you do with alcohol inks. But I like just this vibrant green color. So I'm just going to keep it that color, put my alcohol inks away, and now this nice little plate is finished. We can set that off to the side, Whoa, over there, and then we get to the glitter part. See, when Heidi took out the glitter earlier, I was like, oh yeah, we're getting glittery. Uh, glitter, you can't have ornaments without glitter. I, that's just kind of my theory. I'm just using some white glue. This happens to be some Mod Podge. Very easy to do to add a glitter embellishment to this project. Take yourself a bottle cap and fill it on up. 
is basically uh, what it is. But all I'm going to do is just brush in some white glue. You, sorry, my hands are, might be a little distracting tonight because I'm feeling the bow rings tonight. So I'm just filling that up with the sides and everything. And then it's just as easy as dumping some glitter in. And I like to just fill it up and then kind of shake it around a little bit. Shake, 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 shake. And then pour. Blammo. Look at that. Glittered up. You can use any kind of white glue that, that you find is suitable, but I always just happen to have Mod Podge on hand. Okay. Now I'm dumping that out. I can put my little discard piece of paper over here, and I'll put that back in there pretty soon. I have two of these created. I'm going to do one on each side just because I kind of like to have both sides glittery and fun, but look at how that's going to look. Kind of like a, what do you call those flowers? A daffodil, maybe? It's kind of looking like a daffodil. And um, I'm going to use the one that has already dried to put some embellishments on. So I just have a little rhinestone that I'm going to put right in the middle there. And because I can't get away without hot gluing something, I'm just going to quickly dab a little bit of warm glue. Oh, don't freak out. I didn't burn myself this time. I just warm glued it to my uh, finger. That's okay. And then put that right in the middle there. I would recommend snowflakes or any other kind of small, sparkly, shiny embellishments. And then you're pretty much good to go with just giving the back side of your bottle cap some warm glue. Flip it on over. And then the other side gets some warm glue. And then flip it on over there. Now, uh, if you... Do not have a pinhole punch to do the hole for your ribbon or your little uh, ornament hanger. Then just use a little nail. Just just get the job done. You can do it. I believe you can. So super cute. You can <laughs> you can really. I mean these are great because having these smaller ornaments just really add to the sparkle and shine of your Christmas tree, and it's virtually free. So let's go back on over to head cam. You can take a quick look at what this looks like just kind of from far away. And if you guys have any questions, then I can see the chat as well. Um, so virtually free, sparkly, and very easy and quick to make, as you can see.